Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another Arcade's voice acting. I recently acquired Studio Series 86 Jazz, and each time I look at that figure, I hear him say Scatman Crotters should be my next review. Well, who am I to argue with Jazz? And what a fun research this turned out to be. I listened to some awesome vintage songs, found some interesting movies, and discovered an awesome human being. And after watching this, I hope you will have to. I swear I started this one wanting to watch a couple of videos, get a feel of the artist, but I spent way more time than I planned just enjoying the various live performances, movie scenes and songs performed by Scatman. So let's look at his journey that started 111 years ago. Scatman Crothers was born Benjamin Sherman Crothers on May 23, 1910 in Tire Haute, Indiana. He started his career as a musician in his teenage years playing guitar and drums that he taught himself. During the Prohibition era of 1920-1933, he would play in speakeasies, which were illicit establishment that sold alcohol. Forming a band in the 1930s while living in Akron, Ohio, he played five days a week on a radio show in Dayton, Ohio. That's when the station manager told him that he needed a catchier name, to which Crowders came up with Scatman for his scat singing. He moved to California in the 1940s performing in Los Angeles, but also in Las Vegas, the Apollo Theater in Harlem, as well as New York City and Manhattan. Capitol Records released several of his singles, such as I'd Rather Be a Hummingbird, Blue Eyed Sally and Television Blues, while High Fidelity Record released his album Rock and Roll with Scatman Crowders, an amazing record. Scatman also went on a USO tour with Bob Hope. Depending on the source, his film and television career started either in 1953 in the musical film Meet Me at the Fair, or in 1951 in the movie Yes Sir, Mr. Bones. He guest starred in many shows in the 1950s, such as Beulah, Lux Video Theater, Schlitz Playhouse of Stars, and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. In the 60s and 70s, his appearances increased considerably including shows such as Bewitched, Adam-12, Kojak, Mannix, and Starsky and & Hutch. He got a recurring role on the show Chico and the Man playing Louis Wilson alongside Jack Albertson and Freddie Prinze. On the big screen, he was involved with the masterpiece One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest as Turkle, and also starred in the movie Scavenger Hunt. In the 80s, he starred in three television series, being One of the Boys, Casablanca, and Morning Star, Evening Star. But out of all this, his role as Halloran in The Shining is what he'll always be remembered for. She called it Shiny. That is, for anyone who never watched the Transformers. His voice work is not as extensive as others I've covered before, like his friend Corey Burton, but it is rightly remembered by fans. He is the extremely popular jazz. Negative. North side of Cybertron's blacker than the inside of a drive shaft. Everyone remembers that Porsche with the cool laid-back attitude that enjoyed earth music. Very sorry, Bumblebee, but look around. This is the perfect spot to test my new speakers, man. But his voice acting career started with the Beanie and Cecil show, voicing Go Man Van Gogh. This brings back a lot of good memories since my sister and I watched this show and it's one of my earliest souvenirs. Scatman then voiced King Louie on Disney on Parade, who featured recorded tracks for a live show. He then voiced Scat Cat for the movie The Aristocats. With a name like that, it's kinda hard to imagine the role wasn't meant for him. He then got the chance to voice George Meadowlark Lemon on two shows, The Harlem Globetrotters and the new Scooby-Doo movies, bringing to life the character based on the basketball legend. From 1974 to 1976, he starred as the title character in Hong Kong Fooey, a role well remembered by fans to this day. He reprised this role in 1977 on the Laugh Olympics show. In 1975, he starred in the movie Coonskin, voicing Peppy, and in 1977, he voiced another character named Scat Cat on The Skatebirds, a role he did once more in Anna Barbara's All-Star Comedy Ice Review. Also in 1977, he portrayed King, a character on The Robotic Stooges. In 1979, he played Fluid Man on The Super Globe Trotters and Crazy Legs in the movie Banjo the Woodpile Cat. 
Then, five years later, he would start working on the Transformers as Jazz, a role he reprised in Transformers the movie. This is Jazz, a ginormous weird-looking planet that showed up in the suburbs of Cybertron! He was also Eugene the Genie on the show Pawpaws. And at the age of 76, this wonderful human being left us, leaving family, friends and fans with fun and joyful memories. One thing I can tell you, all of his colleagues loved him and described him as a real-life jazz, being cool, fun and unforgettable. He would bring such joy with him and left behind amazing stories. Check the links in the description for my favorites. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Scatman Crother's career. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I really like reading you guys. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.